Looks like we're going to talk about Superman. Well, the knockoff Superman because, well, DC Comics has decided to put Clark Kent away for a while, probably because of some kind of copyright issue. So they're putting John Kent right in the front seat, and they decided to boost the sales with gimmicks, identity politics, to be exact. And I did another video on the sales for this book about two days ago, and I brought up the fact that this book has completely fallen off of the top 50 comic book chart. Maybe it's somewhere in the top 200. Uh, That doesn't matter to me. Uh, The fact, the undisputed fact, is that it's no longer in the top 50 chart, which, in my opinion, really matters. Because this is where opinions are made, and this is, I mean, it, it speaks for itself. It means it's not popular. And it's even more funny, because the book, when it decided to do its gimmick and have him come out of the closet, uh, it shot up to number five for one issue. Was it five or six? It was is in the top ten. One issue, and then it completely dropped off the charts, came down to like 42, and then for the past two issues, uh, it's not on the chart at all. It completely fell off. Uh, no one's interested in it. No one cares. Uh, it had all the press in the world. Everybody was talking about it, and now it's dead in the water. DC Comics, tons of problems. Only thing that sells for them is Batman. Uh, I don't know if there's a graphic novel out for the book yet. Uh, It's not on that chart either. Doubt it will be when they make one because nobody gives a shit. But, of course, Tom Taylor, he's got a grasp for straws because he made a huge deal out of the fact this book made that chart and was, was, like, selling so great. He was all happy about it. And then when people started to notice in December that something was going on with the book because it wasn't on there. But let me circle back. He was like, what? Number six didn't appear in the sales charts. What are you talking about? Oh, that's because it didn't come out in December. Even though the annual came out, as Bounding in the Comics points out right here in their article, and that was already showing how low this book was going to go because it plummeted off of the top 50. And then number six came out, and that did get back on the chart. It was at number 42, and then seven and eight, or nine, eight and nine, I I forget which number, fell off completely. Why am I talking about this? Well, because Tom Taylor is now responding to people that are pointing out the fact that number eight here and number seven are completely off the top 50 charts and laughing at him. So now he's grasping for straws. And what he's doing is he's going to Amazon and saying, well, look here, uh, uh, it's, it's uh, number one in bestsellers in 45-minute comic and graphic novel short reads. <laughs> what is this chart? I tried to find it. I didn't even see it. Oh, and by the way, like this updates constantly, so I'm going to show you something. So he brags about this chart I've never heard of. And then uh, you can see right here, as Bounding Comics points out, uh, it drops to number eight very quickly, probably because I don't I don't know how Amazon's top charts work. It must be a daily thing or by the hour. I don't know. Uh, all I know is if you check the Amazon bestsellers list, bestsellers and graphic novels, which I want to point out uh, isn't just graphic novels. It's every comic book. Uh, they have some questionable stuff on the list too, like a Sandman audio book. <laughs> I don't know why that's on bestsellers and graphic novels. If you go down here, Superman, Son of Kal-El, number nine, is at number 16. Uh, eight and seven are not on the list, though. Now, what does this mean? In my opinion, nothing, because this is based on digital sales. Okay, number one. Uh, I do not I do not believe that digital sales are high at all for these comics. Uh, there's no numbers that get released for them. It's pretty much you can just say whatever you want. But 
It is number 16 on Amazon graphic novel bestsellers. Okay? Uh, it's still falling off of the physical media charts completely. And that's also an undeniable fact. But okay, it's number 16. To me, that doesn't mean anything. It's also number 27 on bestsellers in comics and graphic novels. Now, I don't understand the difference between this chart and this best graphic novel chart. But over on this one, it's at number 27. Now, what I find funny is Tom Taylor, he must have went and grabbed shots immediately because if you look over here, when he was sharing it, it was at number one. So, And it's on this bestsellers in 45-minute things. He shares this too. Uh, he apparently says that it's number one in superhero graphic novels, superhero comics and graphic novels, and 45-minute comic and graphic novel short reads. And I can't find any of these charts. All I can find are the best overall charts. And it is on there, but it's not number one. It's not number one. Uh, superhero graphic novels and comics and graphic novels only look at, I believe, like big two books. And he must have grabbed this like right as the book launched or something because it's not number one anymore. Hold on. Let me, let me double check this. Okay, so in... Bestsellers in superhero comics and graphic novels, which takes manga out of the equation. The book is at number eight. It's not number one, Dom. It's number eight. So, look, regardless of what's going on, this book is on life support. Okay, it gets a little bit of bump the first day it comes out digitally, not physically. Uh, it's completely fallen off of the charts for physical books. He's boasting this critic stuff right here, which, as <laughs> uh, as Bounding in the Comics points out, only eight people have reviewed the book. Eight critic reviews. Ooh. 25 reviews for user ratings. I, I really just, I, I love how defensive Tom Taylor's getting about this book. And uh, he's he's not well. He's not going to come out and say that he's wrong and and we're right. He's going to do whatever he can to defend this book because it's his book, and I understand that. But you can try and spin it however you want. The book is nowhere near the sales numbers it was getting when every news outlet was talking about it because they were all jumping over themselves because. Because by Superman was out now. The sales are dropping. And, okay, it's on an Amazon chart for digital sales. Numbers that nobody can see, by the way, and he'll never release them, even though he could. Uh, it's not going to stay on those charts long. Tom Taylor's writing gets progressively worse as he goes on when he's, when he's full-on agenda. And this book is not very good, and it's going to fall off of the Amazon charts too. Give it some time, Tom. And then I'll make a video laughing about that one too. And then what are you going to do? Go to some weird new website? Are you going to go create your own website and make up fake data cells and then post that as a win? Time's up, Tom Taylor. Your book sucks. Literally. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there, and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. It's usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.